it is no good. And an offensive rebound for Cunningham kicks it back out. Parker tries to attack inside, gives it back to Smith. Smith guarded by Woods, and now Parker has it back up top. So Cunningham with uh, two quick rebounds already as she has the ball now on the wing. She's going to swing it back up top for Osborne. Now over on the wing for Parker. Parker throws it inside for Smith. Smith turns, takes a dribble, puts up the shot. It is no good. Rebounded by Ava for the Lady Senators. Ava stops, gives it off to Meredith who brings it up the right side of the floor. And Meredith's going to get all the way to the basket. No one's stopping her and she gets the and one. So yeah, as we talk about uh, the freshman Meredith Deaton uh, making stuff happen, as uh, most freshmen coming into a uh, starter on varsity are mainly just role players, not your main scorer and main player. So now Meredith at the free throw line to try to convert the three-point play. It's no good. Rebounded by Smith. Smith's now going to kick it ahead for Parker. Parker now throws it inside. The pass is just too high for Osborne. And there's another turnover, their second of the game. So now Shelby to bring the ball to the floor, getting the call from Coach Messmore. As now Shelby crosses half court, brings it on to the right side. Looks like uh, we will see Perry Central kind of in a 1-3-1 zone. Now a cross court pass here. Emma Schmidt gives off the bounce pass to Riley, throws it off to Ava. Ava now gets it out. Meredith puts up the three-pointer. It is good. As Meredith already with a quick five points. Now a little bit of pressure here from the Lady Senators. Lady Commodores get out of it. Parker takes it up the right side, attacks the basket, gets up the shot, can't get it to go. Ball will be knocked out of bounds, and it will stay Lady Commodores' ball. Yeah, uh, Meredith just making that three happen there after uh, Ava kind of got hit in the shins with a bad pass from Riley Hall. So now Parker to take it out. He's going to throw it down inside. Shot is up no good by Kelly. Battle for the rebound as Parker gets it back. Cunningham now puts up a three-pointer. It's no good. And Emma Schmidt with the rebound is now Emma will bring it up the floor herself. Emma now stops, gives it off to Riley. Riley now kicks it back out for Shelby as now Shelby will set up the offense for the Lady Senators. Now Riley with it, gives it back to Shelby up top. Looks like a little confusion here for the Lady Senators. Riley bounce pass off to Meredith, now kicks it across for Emma. Emma looking inside, she's gonna spin back to the middle, give off a bounce pass. Ball is knocked away now, it's on the floor and the Lady Commodores get it. Now Osborne brings it up the floor. Osborne now kicks it ahead. Parker with it. Kicks it back up top. Now cross-court pass here for Kelly. Now back up top again as Cunningham has it. Looks like the Lady Commodore is trying to take it slow here as now they set up their offense. So now Parker will give it off to Cunningham. Cunningham will get the screen from Smith. Now kick it back out. Kelly with it. Drives inside. Gets into the lane. Puts up the runner. It's no good. Offensive rebound though. And that... Layup is good by uh, 23, Emma Osborne. Shelby with the ball. She'll bring it up for the Senators to Deaton. Deaton looks to Hall. Back good, to Deaton. Good bounce pass right there by Riley as Meredith gets in there, kind of throws up kind of a bad shot, and a jump ball will be called. We'll stay with the Lady Senators. So again, just seeing Meredith right there on the attack, getting all the way to the basket, just not being able to really finish a shot there. As now Emma gets it, drives it into the line, stops, and a travel will be called as it looked like uh, she came sliding into the line. So now we will see a 1-2-2 press here from the Lady Senators as the ball's into the middle. Now kick the head. Kelly with it gets trapped in the corner, throws it right off um, for Osborne who goes inside for Cunningham. Cunningham puts it up, can't get the layup to fall, rebounded by Riley as Riley gives it off to Shelby who will now push it the other way. P Lady Commodores got back quickly there defensively to stop the fast break as now Meredith with it. Going to try to attack, spins back, gives it off to Shelby who gets a screen. Shelby gets all the way into the line, puts up the runner, it's no good but a foul is called as 12 Shelby Griffiths will head to the free throw line. Yeah, good job by Shelby there attacking, realizing she has an open lane and just going to the basket. That foul was on um, Cunningham. That's her first. So that first free throw is no good for Shelby. Uh, number two, Labhart checks in for... Number 24, Kelly. Shelby's second shot is up and it is good. 
giving Shelby one point on the game. It's now Cunningham gets it in, and that's going to be a kickball by Meredith. And one thing we saw in this press, um, we saw Meredith do a really good job and uh, other freshmen, Jay Labatt, do a good job at being this um, person who can get tip passes up in the front of the press and get some easy layups out of it. As now Perry Central breaks the press, kicks it out. Parker puts up the three-pointer. It's no good off the back of the rim. Long rebound. Meredith gets it. Tries to throw it off of the Perry Central defender but can't get it done. And it's going to be a foul called on 21 Emma Schmidt, her first foul. The uh, Commodore is coming out firing here, but not too much falling for him. Halfway through this first quarter, a 6-2 ball game as the Lady Senators lead. Now Lady Commodore's at the free throw line. First shot is up and no good by Osborne. Osborne will have one more. And the shot is up and it is good. Osborne now with all three of the Lady Commodore points. As now Shelby brings the ball up the floor. Crossing the timeline. It looks like Perry Central has gone to this man-to-man -man, um, defense now. As Riley gets in the high post, hands it off for Meredith. Meredith goes inside, spins back middle, just loses the ball right there. And now uh, on the fast break, Parker with it, loses it. But a foul is going to be called on 21 Emma Schmidt. It's kind of iffy foul call. It looked like she got all ball from up here, but a uh, good play by Emma just getting back and stopping the easy wide open layup. And it looks like the fans on the far side of the court did not like that call. Yeah, the young lady senators did not like that one at all. Uh, number one, Louis Thompson comes in for number 21, Emma Schmidt. Now Parker to take it out, fires it inside, and his ball is going to be on the ground. Shelby runs and gets it and is going to travel as she tried to kick it off for Lily. Now Parker to take the ball out of bounds on the side. Right in front of the Lady Senator bench is going to get it in for Cunningham. Cunningham guarded by Riley up near the logo. Cunningham with some good moves gets into the paint. Is going to kick it out. Now get it, try to get it back. And it's going to be tipped away by Riley. Taken by Ava. Ava now kicks it ahead for Lily. Lily's going to stop crossover. Try to get it off to Meredith and does. Meredith now kicks it inside for Riley. Pump fake. Dribbles the right side. Tries to put up a shot, but is going to kick it off for Shelby, who hits it off the bottom of the backboard. Offensive rebound is no good, and it will be Lady Commodore's ball. Now there you go on the fast break. Kicking ahead for Osborne, and the pass is just too far, and it will go out of bounds. That's the second time uh, the Lady Commodores have overled their teammates on the fast break, so uh, they can have a couple more buckets if they uh, wouldn't stop throwing the ball a little bit too far. And also substitution, we have 20 Katie Lynch into the game. As now Lily crosses the timeline, gives it off to Riley on the left wing. Riley now looking for somewhere to go, gives it off to Meredith. Meredith kicks it across for Shelby. Shelby now throws it inside for Riley, stops, tries to put up the shot, gets it up there, and it's just too strong. And now Perry Central heads the other way, Parker with it. And Shelby coming from the behind is going to get a foul called. Well, Lady Commodores have seen a lot of fast break options, but haven't got many of them to work out for them. Just a 6-3 to three ball game here to start this first quarter with two and a half minutes to go. Now it looks like the referees will be cleaning something off the court here. Looks like popcorn from out here. Now after that pause will be Lady Commodore's ball. Parker gets it in, throws it now inside for Cunningham. Cunningham stops, kicks it out. Smith with the jump shot. It is no good, too strong. Battle for the rebound, and Lily ends up with it. She's now going to bring it up the left, left sideline. Gets all the way to the block, and is going to lose the ball. They'll say it's Lady Senator's ball. So now Riley Hall to take the ball out. Riley tries to get it in, gets it in for Meredith, and the ball's on the floor as Lavhard picks it up, and now Lily with it, and now a jump ball will be called and as it will go to Perry Central. Senator's just making a lot of mistakes here early. Uh, been a lot of bad passes thrown and just losing the ball very easily. On the other hand, though, their defense has been very good as Lily gets a steal right there. Now 
gets it onto the post, is now going to dribble it back out and try to set up the offense. So now Lily centers the ball, gives it off to Riley on the left wing. Riley looking inside, gives it off to Meredith up top. Meredith pump fakes, drives all the way, puts up the runner, and gets it to go. Good move there by Meredith Deaton as she now has seven of the eight points. And now a good uh, run through right there as Ava is able to save it, but gives it right off to Parker. And now a carry will be called. Another turnover for the Lady Commodores as the ball goes back to the Lady Senators. Number uh, 23, Osborne will come in for number 25, Smith. So now Shelby to take the ball out. She's going to pass it in for Lily. Lily's guarded by Labhart here. Guarded heavily. Labhart gets the ball knocked away. Ball's on the ground as Lily's able to get it back to Shelby. Shelby now crossing half court. Gives it to Meredith on the right wing. Meredith looking for some cutters. Gives it to Riley in the high post. Riley now hands it off. Meredith stops. Puts up the shot. Can't get it to go. Battle for the rebound as uh, the Lady Commodores end up with it. As now Lynch takes it the other way. Throws it ahead. And just another pass. It's just too high. So now will be the Lady Senators ball following another turnover here. But looks like the Lady Commodores are going to come out in a little press here. It looks like a 1-2-2 two, two press. So now Meredith kicks it ahead for Ava. Now Lily gets it going through the middle. Lily stops, tries to attack again, and now will bring the ball back out. Gives it off to Meredith up top. Shelby now with it on the right wing and is now going to recenter the ball. Now Meredith with it on the right wing. Meredith looking inside. Is now going to kick it back across for Lily, who attacks with the left hand, puts up the shot, no good, offensive rebound, and gets the layup to go. And now we'll, by the uh, Lady Commodores. And it will be a full timeout, so we will head to a quick commercial break and come back for the rest of the first quarter. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. And we are back here at West Washington Junior Senior High School on Ron Smith Court for the matchup of the Lady Senators and the Lady Commodores. So far, we are about seven minutes through this first quarter. Lady Senators lead 10-3 as it will be Lady Commodores ball coming out of this timeout. And it looks like the Lady Senators are going to be applying that press that we have seen that has been forcing some turnovers here early. Yeah, the uh, Lady Senators defense has been outstanding here early. Now Osborne with it, kind of in the corner here. Might have trouble getting it across. Passes tip, and now ball's on the ground. Lily comes up with it, pump fakes. Is now gonna try to get it back to the middle, and she does. Now gonna try to attack with the left hand. Gives it off to Riley on the wing. Riley takes it right side, gets a screen from Meredith. Gets all the way to the block, puts up the shot, and it can't fall, but gets the foul call. Yeah, good take there by Riley, and good screen by uh, Deaton Meredith by uh, just getting her the open lane and letting her go to the rack. That was Lynch's first foul of the contest is now Riley at the free throw line. And that first shot is good. Getting her her first of the game. So Labhart will come in for 20 uh, Lynch and 25 uh, Smith will come in for 32 Cunningham. Now Riley back at the line. Second shot is good, making it two for two at the line for her. As now Labhart gets it. As now Labhart will bring it up the right side of the floor. Nobody's really guarding her. She now gives off the bounce pass for Kelly. Kelly looks inside for Osborne, swings it back out. Now Smith with it up top, guarded by Ava. Smith throws it inside, passes tipped away by Meredith as Shelby ends up with it with under 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Shelby bounce pass to Ava, puts up the shot and blocked away by Smith. And now with three seconds, Parker takes it the other way. Can she get all the way to the basket? Stop, puts it up and can't get it to fall as that will end the first quarter where the Lady Senators lead 12 to three as we will now head back to commercial break and come back for the start of the second quarter.
Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today, while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. And we are back here on the Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators lead 12 to three over the Lady Commodores. And we've seen uh, Meredith Deaton with already over half the team's points as she's been phenomenal here in that first quarter. As now Lady Senators back with the ball as Lily has it, gives it off to Meredith. Meredith kicks it across for Riley. Riley dribbles right side, gives it to Lily, who's going to stop, put up a three-pointer, and it is good. So a uh, deep, deep three there by Lily, and uh, she makes it, though. And, and uh, the Senators... Uh, Press does not go, and she just gets it and gets wide up the lane. and Blocked gets away blocked. by Meredith. Good defensive play. And now Lily ends up with the ball, and she'll take it the other way. Lily gets it all the way to the block, puts up the runner, and gets it to go. So now Lily with seven points, Meredith with seven points, and a 30-second timeout called by Perry Central as a quick start for the Lady Senators in the second quarter. And again, we see that uh, defensive pressure here is, I mean, we didn't really pick up pick up Labhart there on the sideline, but was able to get back back in defense and be able to get a block and then a fast break layup. Yeah, one of the key things is a uh, big lead here by the Senators is the defense, only allowing three points in the first quarter. And this is something we've seen a lot from the Lady Senators so far this year. They've tried to apply a lot of defensive pressure, which has turned into most of their offense as the Lady Senators have scored most of their points on fast break layups that are right off turnovers. So it looks like uh, Abby Young checks in for Ava Woods for the Lady Senators. Now Parker to take it out. Bounce pass in for Smith. Smith is guarded by Abby. And now Parker gets it back, gets past the defense. Bounce pass in the corner for Kelly who kicks it out. Now Parker throws it inside for Osborne who kicks it out. Labhart with the mid-range jumper. It's no good. Rebounded by Meredith who hands it off for Riley. And now Meredith's going to get it back and she will bring it up the floor. Meredith now doesn't really get picked up by anybody. Now bounce pass off for Shelby. Shelby now recenters the ball, gives it to Meredith on the right wing. Meredith looking inside, tosses it over for Riley. Riley goes to the block, tries to spin back, gives it to Meredith. Meredith hands it off for Shelby. Shelby now tosses it off for Riley, who gives it back to Meredith. Meredith is now going to put up a three-pointer. It is no good, but an offensive rebound, and it will be out of bounds as Abby was unable to get it before stepping out of bounds. So now Parker to take the ball out of bounds in the corner. Lady Senator still applying their pressure as Labhart gets it. He's now going to try to take it up the sideline. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Shelby. So now Lady Commodores will try it again here as now Labhart gets it in the backcourt guarded by Meredith. Labhart with the crossover, goes left side, now spins back, tosses it off for Kelly. Kelly stops, good defense there by Shelby, not letting her get inside. Now the handoff here for Parker, looking inside, gives it off. Good pump fake there, shot is up and it is no good, but a foul is called. Fouls on 34, Meredith Deaton, just her first foul. Now with the foul on the shot, Smith goes to the free throw line. It is no good as the Lady Senator still leads 17 to three. So 
Smith's second shot is up and it is no good. And Labhart ends up getting the offensive rebound. Turns, puts up the layup and gets it to go. Good play there by Labhart, just hustling on the floor, getting that layup. Now Shelby with it, guarded heavily by Labhart. Toss it off for Meredith, drives inside, bounce pass off for Shelby, kicks it out. Lily pump fake, steps back, puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. And it looks like Parker will be able to get it. The Lady Commodores who now kicks it ahead. Smith with it, takes a dribble, puts up a shot, blocked away. But a foul is going to be called. And who will they call this one on? Be on 45, Riley Hall. Just Riley's first foul. Osborne gets the free throw to go. As 21, Emma Schmidt will check in for the Lady Senators, and she'll check out uh, Shelby Griffiths. And 32, Maggie Cunningham will check in for number two, McKenna Lapart for the Lady Commodores. Osborne's second shot is up no good, but an offensive rebound as Smith just goes right over the top. Parker with a three-pointer, it's no good. And another offensive rebound as Osborne gets it, trapped in the corner looking for somewhere to go. And Meredith just takes it right away from her. And now Meredith, now Meredith gets trapped in the corner and a foul will be called. Yeah, good defense there by the Meredith Deaton. Just taking, really just taking the ball away. She wasn't even dribbling or nothing, just kind of took it away from her. That's Osborne's first foul. It's now Meredith to take it out. Lady Commodore's applying some pressure, gives it off to Lily. Lily turns, has the ball knocked away, and it will be Lady Senator's ball. Now Lady Senators will try again here. Five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Lady Senators lead 17 to six. As now Abby gets it and will toss it off right here for Emma. So now Emma with the ball running the point guard here. Now Lily with it gives it off onto the wing for Meredith who goes high post for Riley. Riley dribbles, gets all the way to the opposite block, stops, puts up the shot. It is no good offensive rebound and Meredith can't get the layup to go. And it will be rebounded by Smith, who now gives it off to Parker, who's going to kick it ahead for Kelly. Kelly puts up the shot and can't get it to fall. And now Meredith with the rebound, and she will take it the other way. One on two right here. Stops, and a jump ball will be called as Meredith kind of lost it and just had the ball right out in front of her for Parker to take. Yeah, uh, Commodores just cannot get too many baskets to fall for him tonight. So now Parker gets it in for Cunningham. Cunningham will dribble it to the middle of the floor and now we'll try to bring it up. So Cunningham with on the left side. Crossover, gets all the way into the paint, kicks it out. Kelly with the mid-range jumper is an air ball as Meredith gets the rebound. So now Meredith kicks it ahead. And now Emma drives inside. Somehow gets the pass through for uh, Lily. Is, uh, may have been blocked right there. And now battle for the ball, knocked out of bounds. And they will say it's Lady Commodore's ball. As two Labhart comes back into the game. She checks in for number 24, Kelly. And number five, Jay Labatt, she'll come to the scores table and she'll check in for number 45, Riley Hall. As Jayla gets her first minutes of the game. So now Parker to take it out as that was almost taken away there by Emma Schmidt, but Osborne is able to get the ball and now kicks it ahead for Smith. Now Labhart with it in the corner. Labhart drives inside, tries to kick it back out, and it's going to be taken away. Emma with it. Emma now kicks it ahead for Meredith. Meredith stops on the wing and gives it back up top. As that's going to be knocked away as Emma now gets it back, drives inside, bounce pass off for Meredith, puts up the shot, and it just gets blocked away. Shot it right into Osborne's hand. Deaton uh, kind of waited there for a second, and Osborne was just there by the time she waited. And that three-pointer is good by Parker getting her first three of the game. And now we will have a full timeout called by the Lady Senators as the Lady Commodore is going a little bit of a run here, making a 17-9 ball game as we head into the commercial break. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long 
can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. And we are back here on the Ron Smith court as the Lady Commodores are starting to make this game interesting. After it was 17 to three, a little 6-0 run off of some defensive pressure as now they try to trap here again as now Meredith's gonna get the ball back. Now Jayla, another freshman with it, and that pass is going to be taken away. Smith with it, puts up the layup, no good, blocked away by Meredith. Now Jayla will try to take it back up the floor. Jayla gets it all the way into the paint without getting stopped, and she gets it blocked away, but a foul will be called, and Jayla will head to the free throw line. That's kind of weird there for the Lady Senators. Uh, two of their point guards were both up the floor, Shelby and Emma, and Deaton was bringing it up and back for the Lady Senators. So now Jayla at the free throw line. Chance to extend the game to a double digit lead. First shot is good. Her first points of the game. Second shot is no good. Rebounded by Parker. As Shelby hits the ground in the backcourt. As now Labhart gets it, gives it right back to Parker and gets the layup to go. Parker now with five points as Jalen now gets it. He's going to dribble it back. Looks for somewhere to go. Gives it off to Meredith. Meredith now crossing the timeline. Looks to kick it ahead. Gets it off to Shelby who puts up the layup and gets it to go. Good pass there by uh, Meredith. Just finding the hole in the defense and just throwing it right in there to Shelby. An easy layup. Now Smith throwing over the top. Gives it to Parker. Foul will be called on 34 Meredith Deaton. That will be her second foul. So uh, Deaton getting the foul there because she uh, didn't set her feet. Her feet were moving. So she's got to set her feet and go up strong. And from now here on out for the rest of this half, uh, the Lady Commodores will be heading to the free throw line on any fouls. As Parker knocks down the first free throw. 24, Kelly checks in for number 20. Uh, Lynch and 32 Ava Woods checks in for number 22 Abby Young So now Parker back at the free throw line. She's got six on the day Shot is up and it is good as well Now Perry Central back in their pressure as now Emma breaks free gets up to the line puts up the layup It's no good, but an offensive rebound and Ava Woods gets the layup to go Those are Ava's first points of the game as now Labhart breaks the pressure, gets it into the corner there, pass is tipped by Jayla, and now Parker is able to get it back. Kelly now within the corner, back to Parker up top, swings it across for Smith, who throws it right inside for Cunningham, puts up the shot with the left hand and gets it to go. As Cunningham gets her first two, making this a 22 to 15 game, a lot of scoring here in these past few minutes. As now Jayla has it for the Lady Senators, Kind of gets the ball knocked away a little bit as now Emma with it. And now a foul will be called on Labhart. Will be her first foul. Kind of a spark coming out of nowhere here for the Lady Commodores. Kind of kicking it in gear and starting to score a lot more. And number 45, Riley Hall. She'll come in for 34, Meredith Deaton. So Meredith coming out with those two fouls. Really don't want her to pick up a third foul in this first half. As now Jayla gets the ball in the corner. Crosses over, gives it back to Shelby, who drives inside, puts up the runner, just gets it blocked away by Smith, just kind of threw it right into her hands. And now a fast break here. Labhart with it, gets it taken away by Riley. Good defensive play there, as now Shelby gets it and will bring it up the sideline. Shelby now gets it all the way back in the lane, puts up the shot again, just gets it blocked away, and will be out of bounds off of the Lady Senators. So 
So now Lady Commodore's ball is Kelly's going to get it, throw it right to the middle for Cunningham. Cunningham stops and a foul is going to be called. And if this is on Emma Schmidt, it will be her third. I think it is. Yeah. And it is. Yeah. Lily Thompson, she'll come in for probably Emma. Yeah, and she does. And uh, 23, Osborne, she'll come in for number two, Labhart for the Lady Commodores. So now Cunningham will get the one and one here as they enter the, enter the bonus. Shot is up, it is no good. And rebounded by Lily who just checked in. As now Lily will push it ahead and now she will bring it back out. Under two minutes to go here in this first half. Lady Senators lead by seven. As Jayla puts up the mid-range jumper, won't go. Rebounded by Smith who now gives it off to Parker as Parker will bring it up the right side of the floor. Parker doesn't really get stopped, gets all the way down into the block area. And is now going to dribble it back out. Smith with it, throws it inside for Cunningham, tipped away by Ava. As now Shelby with it and she'll go on the fast break. And tries to put up a shot, it'll be knocked out of bounds. It will be Lady Senator's ball. So now Riley to take it out underneath the basket for the Lady Senators. Riley gets it into the corner for Lily. Lily, good move, gets it inside, gets it blocked away, gets her own miss, tries to throw back in, and it will be taken by the Lady Commodores. As now Cunningham brings it up the floor. Cunningham stops, gives it off. For Smith, Smith looks inside, throws it into the post, Osborne with it, puts up the shot, and a foul is going to be called. And that's Jayla's first foul. Two shots now for Osborne. Osborne's first shot is up and it is good. Osborne has five points on the game. Osborne's second shot is up and it is also good, making it a 22-17 game with one minute to go in this first half. Shelby brings it across half court. Perry Central back in their 1-2-2 zone here. Lilly now with it, gives it off for Riley in the corner, kicks it back out. Lilly thought about the deep three, but instead kicks it back across. Now Jayla within the corner, she's gonna get trapped and now kicks it back out, balls on the ground. Lady Commodores take it away and now Smith with it. Stops and a that should be a travel and it is. Lily came flying in aggressively trying to go for the block, just caused Smith to tra travel right there. Yeah, good play there by Lily getting back and playing defense. As now Lily brings it across the timeline, brings it to the left side of the floor, gives it off for Ava in the post. Ava turns, puts up with the left hand, no good, rebounded by Osborne, and loses it there, but is able to. Get it back, it's now Smith with it, 20 seconds to go in the half. Kelly now with it, drives it inside, and it will now dribble it back out, kicks it up top for Smith, nobody on her. As now Parker drives inside, puts up a shot, no good, rebounded by Lilly. As now with five seconds to go in the half, Lilly brings it across the court, all the way to the lane, gets it blocked away. Cunningham now with it, with no time left. Half court shot is up and no good. Would not have counted anyway as the Lady Senators go into halftime, up 22 to 17. And it looks like um, Lily took a shot to the nose as Lily comes off the court holding her nose here. As that will conclude the first half, Lady Senators do lead by five as we will now go do some commercial breaks and come back for some halftime stats and the start of the second half. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849. Two six seven zero. United Producers Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. 
We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at youproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Bob Lovell, and this is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Commissioner, what a great weekend last week. Six football championships were crowned. Kind of an interesting interesting mix of games. Some weren't as close as we thought they would be. And you had some, some for the ages and just one of those kinds of things. But all in all, crowds were good. Enthusiasm was high. I thought everybody did a great job of playing hard, playing clean. All in all, I think it was a fantastic weekend for you. Yeah, it was. It was a phenomenal weekend, Coach. And, you know, it's like, um, you know, the anticipation of the close games is there. But, you know, every game is always closer than people think it is. It's the bounce of the ball. It's sure. one play here, one play there, you know, and it uh, and it just changes uh, changes the outcome. But, you know, you think about it is these coaches have these kids primed. They're ready to play, and they're going to play their best game of the year. And uh, we saw a lot of that this weekend. Um, incredible talent on the field. Um you know, again, fans were great. Um, you know, you you walk out of those events sometime and you say, "Hey, we need to do this or we need to do that," and you're always going to have those things. But, but from the people involved, the workers involved, the broadcasters, the families, the parents, the police, um, you know, everybody supported kids this weekend and really had very few, very few issues. And that was always a good thing to to see and fun to celebrate. Um, high school sports in that kind of setting. Well, you had one, uh, you know, team, like Center Grove, for example, wins their third consecutive championship. They played in the finals in four straight years. To do that in 6A, you're in rarefied air when you accomplish that. No question. And, you know, Coach Moore is a community based coach, and he, teach, he teaches those kids. Center Grove football and has been doing that for years and they learn the system and they grow up in the system and they, they know how to execute that system and it pays off in the end. And other schools do that too, but you know, Coach Moore, they just got their run right now and they've had an incredible, incredible time here. You know, it's funny, I did receive an email that uh, there were some folks that suggested it was maybe time for Center Grove to move up and play in the play in the Big Ten against Purdue and IU. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, if you're in 6A, you probably feel, feel that way. I mean, I thought That's you had right. a tremendous matchup to, to end the weekend. What better way to do it than with the Valpo-Whiteland game? What a tremendous end to that game. Oh, my goodness. You know, 
uh, both teams, it, it was, a, as they say, it's like a heavyweight fight. You know, those two teams faced up against each other. They were up and down that field, big play after big play. And, you know, whoever had the ball last um, with a little bit of time on the clock was going to win that in 16 seconds. If it would have been more than, I think, 16 seconds at the end, <laughs> Whiteland, uh, Whiteland would have put some more points on the board. But uh, eventually the clock ran out and Valpo just happened to be ahead at that point. We're talking to the commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Nighting. All right, Paul, that wraps up your fall sports and head into winter. Basketball, obviously, in full swing on both the boys' and girls' side. Uh, Swimming, wrestling, everything. You just go from one to the other with everybody being all in with our winter sports schedule. Absolutely. And, you know, I always say, isn't it great? You know, and kids need to be active. And we're so happy that there's a a year-round programming in high school sports that kids can be active in that second classroom. And, and yeah, we have basketball games are full swing on the boys and girls. Swimming, both boys and girls are going. The wrestling matches are going. Um, You know, girls, emerging wrestling, they've got matches going on already. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, and gymnastics is uh, getting ready to start their competition season here. And so, yeah, it's – it's full steam ahead, and, you know, we're preparing for our next round of tournaments, which will start with wrestling later on in February. But, uh, again, it's uh, – I don't know. It's just – for me, it's good when I know student-athletes are with coaches that really care about them and right, want to see them right. develop and be the best they possibly can be. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. And we are back here at West Washington Junior Senior High School on Ron Smith Court for the second half of this matchup between the Lady Senators and the Lady Commodores. Lady Senators were up 17 to 3 midway through that second quarter, but now only lead 22 to 17 entering the third quarter. Yeah, the Lady Commodores kind of kicked it in there in the second quarter and scored a lot. Lady Senators with the ball as they are. Scoring wise, been led by freshman Meredith Deaton and sophomore Lily Thompson, both with seven points apiece. As now the Lady Senators with it, as Meredith is going to get it, drive inside, puts up the shot, and it's going to be blocked away, but a foul is called. Foul. 
That was on 25 Smith. That's her second foul. So now Meredith will head to the free throw line for two shots. First one's no good off the back of the rim. So now Meredith with one more. Chance to make it a six point game. And she's able to get this one to go. So now Parker will bring it up the floor for the Lady Commodores, crossing the timeline, guarded by Shelby. Now throws it in the high post for Smith. Smith thinks about the handoff. Now faces up to the basket, kicks it out for Cunningham, who's going to put up a three-pointer. It is no good. Rebounded by Meredith. Meredith gives it off to Shelby. As now Shelby will bring it up the floor. Shelby crossing half court. Looks right side, get, just gets it taken away, and a foul is going to be called on 12 Shelby Griffiths. So now Shelby with two fouls here. So now Parker with the ball in the backcourt. Minute down in this uh, third quarter as Parker now gives up the bounce pass off for Cunningham. Cunningham now drives inside, picks up her dribble, kicks it back out. Parker now throws it inside for Osborne who turns, is now gonna kick it back out. Three pointer now is no good off the rim. Will be tipped out of bounds off of 32 Ava Woods. So now Lady Commodores will take it out of bounds on the baseline. Parker to take it out. Parker gives the bounce pass off for Cunningham. Cunningham looks inside. He's going to throw it in for Osborne. Goes up and gets it with one hand. Turns. Tries to put up a shot, but he's going to kick it back out to Kelly, who now gives it to Cunningham. Cunningham dribbles left side. Now gives it across court. For Smith, Smith, another cross-court pass for Cunningham. Cunningham, ball fake, kicks it back out. Smith drives inside, puts up the layup with the left hand and gets it to go. As I believe those are Smith's first two of the game. As now Meredith with it on the wing. Gives it off for Shelby. Shelby kicks it across for Emma. Emma now drives inside, kicks it back out for Riley, who gets all the way into the line. Bounce pass for Shelby, puts up the shot right into Cunningham's hands. Ball will now be knocked out of bounds. It will be Lady Senator's ball. It's now Meredith to take the ball out on the sideline. As it looks like a basketball fell into the court right there. As now Meredith will take it out on the sideline. As now Emma will get it up near half court guarded heavily by Kelly. As now Meredith gets it back. Hands it off for Shelby. Shelby tries to drive inside. Now will hand it off to Emma who turns the corner and just throws it right into the hands of the defense. But Meredith's able to get it. Gives it off for Ava who puts up the shot. It's going to be blocked away as... Osborne gets the rebound, and now Cunningham will bring it up. Lady Commodore's only trailing by four points, and there's a three, and it's good by Cunningham, making it just a one-point game, a game that we've seen the Lady Senators up by 14 points. As now Meredith will bring it into the line. Meredith gets hit, puts up the shot, and gets it to go. Meredith now reaching double digits with 10 of the 25 points. Now Parker with it, takes it right side, now kicks it back off. Now they throw it inside. Cunningham with the wide open layup. As the Lady Commodores have life here, only trail by one point, five minutes to go in this third quarter. You know, the Lady Senators defense kind of just falling apart here late in the second quarter and uh, here early in the second half. As now Emma's gonna have it taken away right there. Ball's knocked out of bounds, will be Lady Commodores ball. So Lady Senators kind of struggling here a little bit to start this second half. So now Parker to bring it up. Crossing the timeline, guarded by Shelby. Fakes the handoff there to Kelly, as now gives it off into the high post. Backdoor cut for Kelly, just can't hold on to it out of bounds. Will be another turnover. And now we'll see Perry Central 
again in their full court pressure as now Riley gets it and now Riley will bring it up the floor. Riley takes it up on the right side, picks up her dribble, gives it off to Emma. Emma's able to handle it now. Tries to get a screen from Shelby. Now Emma picks up her dribble, hands it off, and a foul will be called on 22 Parker. And it looked like the official made a warning to somebody on the Lady Senator's bench. As now Riley would take it out on the sideline, gets into the backcourt for Meredith. Meredith now crossing half court. She's gonna stop now with a hesitation. Now he's gonna kick it back out for Shelby. Shelby goes back to Meredith on the wing. Meredith gives it off to Riley up top. Riley with the pump fake, kicks it out. Meredith with the three-pointer. They need this and it won't fall. Emma with the offensive rebound. Kicks it back out for Meredith who pump fakes it, dribbles inside, puts up a layup and can't oh. get it to fall. But we'll head to the free throw line for two shots. Yeah, good there. Good job there by Emma driving the lane hard and getting the rebound. It's now Smith called for the foul. She has three fouls. Now Meredith at the free throw line, shot is up and no good off the back of the rim. Number two, Labhart, she'll come in for number 25, Smith. So just a one point game here, four minutes to go in this third quarter. Meredith's second shot is good. Meredith now with 11 on the game. As now Lady Commodore's Come in a hurry here as now Lab Hart, Hart kicks it off. Cunningham for three. It's going to be short. Rebounded by Ava. Ava kicks it ahead for Emma. Emma now throws it ahead for Meredith and it's just thrown right out of bounds. Another turnover there for the Lady Senators. So now Lab Hart brings it up, guarded by Ava. Bob Hart gives the bounce pass off for Kelly. Kelly gets the screen from Osborne. Kelly retreat dribbles it out. Now Parker with it gets into the lane, puts up the runner. It's going to be blocked, but a foul is called. And if this is on 21 Emma Schmidt, it would be her fourth. But it's on 34 Ava Woods, or Meredith Deaton. As Meredith picks up her third foul. So Parker at the free throw line, first shot is no good. Lily Thompson, she'll check in for number 21, Emma Smith for the Lady Senators. So now Parker back at the free throw line, chance to make it just a one point game here and it is no good. Rebounds tipped and Shelby ends up with it. As now Lily with it, gets it knocked away but is able to Regain control of it as now Lily trying to get past Kelly. Now crossing half court. Gets double teamed, hands it off for Shelby. Shelby now with the crossover, retreat dribble. Now backdoor cut for Meredith. Good play right there. Puts up the layup. It is no good. Ball is tipped and it, Lady Commodores end up with it as now Labhart will take it the other way quickly. Labhart bounce pass into the corner. Foot on the line there, that will be a two, but it's no good. And it looks like a foul over the back foul will be called on the Lady Commodores. Number 21, Parker, she'll come in for number 24, Kelly, for the Lady Commodores. Now Meredith to take it out. As now Shelby gets it. Shelby will now get past the defender, gets it up to the sideline. And now we'll spin back to the middle. Good move there, gets her on the ground as now Riley with it and now Lily with it up top. Lily and then he's gonna lose it there and it will be a turnover as Lady Commodores will get the ball back. So now Parker to bring it up the floor. Parker will be met at half court by Shelby. Parker bounce pass off for Labhart. Labhart gets the screen, gets into the lane. 
Now a travel is going to be called. Another turnover here. <clears throat> and now we'll see 22 Abby Young come into the game for 32 Ava Woods. So still a close game here in the third quarter with 2.30 to go. 26-24, Lady Senators on top. As now Lily with the ball. Lily gives it off onto the wing for Meredith. Meredith cross-court pass for Riley, who now drives inside, kicks it out. Lily puts up a three-pointer. It is no good off the back of the rim, and it will be out of bounds. It will be Lady Commodore's ball. So now Cunningham gives it off for Parker. Just a little over two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Cunningham now gives it off for Labhart. Sets the screen. Labhart kicks it back out. Osborne kicks it across. Now pass inside for Cunningham. Puts up a shot. No good, but a foul is called. As Riley Hall picks up her second foul. As Cunningham gets the first shot to go. Cunningham with, with eight points on the game. So now Cunningham a chance to tie the game here. And it falls. So we have a tie game at 26 here. Now Riley gets it into Meredith. Meredith now trying to bring it up the floor. Guarded by Labhart. Gets into the corner here. Is now kicks it back off for Lily, who will now attack inside. Gets all the way to the basket, puts up the runner, and it's no good, but a foul is called. Osborne picked up her second foul right there. Is now Lily goes to the free throw line for two shots. And that shot is good. Number five, Jayla Bat. She'll come in for number 45, Riley Hall. For the Lady Senators. So now Lily back at the free throw line. And gets the bounce. Lily now with nine points on the game. As now Parker kicks it ahead. For Labhart. Labhart looks inside. He's going to try to drive baseline. Gets cut off. Now kicks it back out. As now Cunningham dribbles it, but right off the foot of Jayla. Now Shelby with the steal. He's going to go in for the layup and gets the layup to go. And now Lady Commodore is now down by four here. Now kicking the ball ahead. Mullis with it. Almost turns it over there. Now gets stuck in the corner. Is now able to get it out. Good pass over for Cunningham. Cunningham stops. Now kicks it into the post here. Parker with it. Kicks it back out. And a travel is going to be called as Lavhart took off too quickly right there. Number 20, Lynch. She'll come in for number two, Lavhart, for the Lady Commodores. Just over a minute to go here in this third quarter. Shelby now brings the ball up the floor. Shelby guarded by Parker. Now Meredith with it. Gets in in the paint. Kicks it out for Jayla. Jayla now goes onto the wing as Lily drives inside. Puts up the shot. Can't get it to go. And Cunningham's able to uh, regain control of the ball. As now Cunningham with the crossover. Gets all the way inside. Tries to put up a runner. Is going to be fouled. As Jayla picks up her second foul. So Cunningham at the free throw line. First shot is up and it is good. Number 24, Kelly, she'll come in for number 21 more. So Cunningham now with double digits, 10 points on the game with one more shot right here. As that one goes. 
That pass is tipped out of bounds. Shelby trying to get it back to Meredith. 37.8 seconds to go in the third quarter here. Lady Senators lead by two. So now Abby with it, kind of in the corner here, throws it up for Meredith. As now that's going to be tipped away, and it will be a jump ball, which will be a turnover as Perry Central will get the ball back with 30 seconds to go in the quarter. Number 21, always. She'll check back in for number 23, Osborne. So Lady Commodore stack it up on the sideline. As now Kelly gets it and just gets it taken away by Lily right here. So now Lily will bring it up the floor. As now Lily gives it off for Jayla. Jayla with it on the wing. Tries to get it to Meredith, but now picks up her dribble, looking for somewhere to go, and a foul is going to be called on Cunningham. So now Meredith will take it out on the sideline, 13.2 seconds in this third quarter. As Osborne comes back in. And Osborne will come back in for Mullis. So Meredith having trouble getting it in, throws it in the backcourt for Shelby. Just 10 seconds to go in the quarter here. Shelby takes it to the left side, gets all the way to the block. Now dribbles it back out. And now Lily with it with just three seconds, two seconds now. Just gonna have to throw up a shot. It will not get off in time as she does Made it, make though. it, but no was not off in time. As the score will be 30 to 28 going into this fourth quarter as Perry Central has been able to scrap their way back into this game and will now head to a commercial break and come back for the start of the fourth quarter. Some people see a huddle in the locker room. We see a second classroom. Some see a student athlete on the court. We see a future leader in the community. You see, high school sports in Indiana are special. That's because they're about learning and growing, not just winning and losing. Fans, I'm Commissioner Paul Knighty. Support education-based athletics in Indiana by buying a ticket to your high school's next athletic event. And we are back here at West Washington Junior Senior High School on Ron Smith Court for the matchup of the Lady Senators and the Lady Commodores as the Lady Senators lead 30-28 to going into the fourth quarter. And this is a game where we saw the Lady Senators up 17-3 to midway through the second quarter. And we've just seen... The Lady Commodore is able to claw their way back in it and make this a ball game. Yeah, a lot of adjustments probably at the end of the first quarter and at the end of the half for the Lady Commodores and have clawed their way back into this, like you said. So it will be the Lady Senators ball coming out of the end of quarter. So now Meredith to take it out. Lady Commodore is up with the pressure here. Meredith gets it in for Lily in the backcourt. Lily crossing half court now. She's gonna give it off to Meredith on the right wing. Meredith with gets it knocked away, but Jail is there to get it. So now Shelby with it on the wing. Shelby looking inside. Is now gonna dribble it back to the middle of the floor. And now Meredith comes out and gets it on the wing. Meredith kicks it now across for Jayla. Jayla goes to Lily on the wing. Jayla pump fakes, goes inside for Meredith. Meredith turns, tries to put up the shot, gets it up there, but can't get it to go as Cunningham gets the rebound, and Cunningham will push it the other way. And now Cunningham kicks it back out as Smith now with it. Tries to get a bounce pass, just not the angle. As now Lily comes up with the steal, and Lily's going to take it all the way to the block. Puts it up and one. Yeah, good play there by Lily, getting the steal on the defense side of the ball and then going all the way across the court and getting the and one. Lily now at 11 points. Lily and Meredith both have 11 as Lily has a chance for 12 here at the free throw line. So the shot is up and it is good. Now a five point game Lady Senators lead. That's going to be a blocking foul called on one Lily Thompson. Just her first foul. So now Parker to take it out, gives it in to Smith. 
Smith now kicks it ahead for Osborne. Nobody guarding her, puts up the shot and gets it to roll in. Miscommunication there on defense. So now Lily brings it up the floor, takes it right up the sideline, gets past everybody. Bounce pass off for Abby as now Meredith gets it, puts up the shot and gets it to go. And now Parker will push it ahead quickly, crossing half court, gives it off onto the wing. As now Lynch goes inside, gets it taken away. Jalen now with it. Jalen kicks it ahead for Meredith, who gets all the way inside, puts up the runner, and gets it to go. And now a timeout is called 30 seconds by Perry Central as the Lady Senators start a run of their own. As Meredith Deaton now with 15 points, Lily Thompson with 12 points, and the Lady Senators able to capitalize on some mistakes there, some turnovers by uh, the Lady Commodores, and now have got their lead back up to seven. Yeah, uh, the Lady Senators trying to fight back here on the offense side of the ball. The defense side of the ball has stepped her up too. With a little big steal by Lily and her getting back and getting an and one. So now we have six and a half minutes to go here in the game. Uh, Lady Senators lead 37 to 30. As it will be Lady Commodore's ball coming out of the timeout. So now we'll see if, if the Lady Commodores are able to answer here after a little run by the Lady Senators. So now Parker to bring it up the floor. Perry Central really needs a basket right here. Now the handoff here for Cunningham. Cunningham guarded heavily by Jayla. Cunningham now turns the corner, gives it off for Kelly who stops. Throws it inside for Smith who kicks it out. Cunningham for the three-pointer. It is no good, can't get it to fall as Lily gets the rebound and now she will push it ahead. Crossover move gets her into the paint, puts up the runner. It is no good off the rim. Smith controls the rebound and now she'll kick it ahead for Kelly. Two on one fast break, bounce pass. Ball's on the ground, Osborne with it. Now gets a double team down low. Now bounce pass off for Smith who puts it up and one. Foul was on Meredith Deaton. Meredith now with four fouls. Uh, Laphart, she'll check in for 32 Cunningham. And now Riley Hall will come in probably for Meredith, and she does. Meredith the leading score right now for the Lady Senators with four fouls, and she'll have to come out. Now a chance to convert the three-point play. Smith at the free throw line. Shot is up and it is good. Smith now with five on the game. Now Jayla with it gets pressure. The ball's gonna be taken away. Bounce pass inside and the foul's gonna be called on 22 Abby Young. And now Lady Commodores will head back to the free throw line. As Abby picks up her first foul. So Osborne at the free throw line for a one and one. The shot is good. Now a three point game, we're under six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Osborne's second shot is up and it is good. Osborne now with 10 points on the game. Abby with it, now gives it to Riley. Riley now dribbles it ahead, gives it to Lily. Lily now tries to bring it inside, dribbles it right off her leg. Dives on the floor for it, but is unable to get it. Now Parker takes it ahead, down by two points right here. Lily with the hustle play, can't get the ball. Smith with it, inside. Shot is up, no good. And the shot is up again, and now we have a tie game as Parker's able to get the put back. Yeah, this press right now is kind of giving the Senators some fits. And now a travel is called on five, Jay Labatt. And now... The Lady Commodores have a chance for the lead here on this possession, something I don't believe they have done yet this game. Yeah, I don't think they have. And, uh, you know, as soon as Meredith checks out, it, everybody just kind of goes to crap and just can't really do anything. As now Kelly drives inside, kicks it back out for Parker, who takes it inside. Pass is knocked away, and it's going to be no good. Battle for the rebound. A foul will be called on, looks like it was 22, Parker.
now. Lily Thompson will head to the free throw line. Now Lily at the free throw line. Shot is up, it is no good. Riley tries to get the rebound, an offensive rebound. Lily ends up with it. Now drives baseline, puts up the runner. It's gonna be blocked away, but a foul is called. That was on 25 Smith. And that's Smith's fourth foul. Now Lily back at the free throw line. And this one bounces in. So 32 Ava Woods, she'll check in for 22 Abby Young. And 32 um, Cunningham, she'll check in for 22 Parker. And who was the other one that checked in? Two, uh, Lampart. She'll check in for 25, Smith. Now, Lily's second shot is going to be an air ball at the free throw line. Yeah, and those are uh, big free throws here in the fourth quarter. Well, uh, Senator's up by one now when she hits the first one. Five minutes to go now in the fourth. Lady Commodore's with the ball. And now the pass is right through the hands of 21. Mullis will be another turnover here. And Deep. now we see Meredith coming back in for Jayla. She does have to be careful though with those four fouls. It's now Riley to take it out. Now being knocked out of bounds will stay Lady Senator's ball. It's now Riley to take it out. Lady Commodore is applying some pressure here. And that will be a five second call as Riley just couldn't find anywhere to go with it. So now again, another offensive possession where the Lady Commodores have a chance to lead. It's now Cunningham to take it out on the sideline and gets it in for Labhart. Labhart guarded by Meredith. Meredith cannot foul right here. Now Cunningham with it at the top of the key, hands it off for Labhart. Labhart drives inside, puts up the jump shot. It is no good in and out. Riley with the rebound. Now Meredith with it. Meredith brings it up the right sideline. Nobody there to pick her up. Meredith goes inside and a foul will be called. Blocking foul on 32 Cunningham. Cunningham now has three fouls. That's a big play right there if Cunningham gets the charge on Deaton because uh, the leading scorer for the Senators checks out. First free throw is no good. So now Meredith trying to make it a two point game right here. That one is good. Meredith now with 16 on the game. As now Kelly gives it off for Cunningham, now Mullis with it. Osborne now with it up top, guarded by Ava. Kelly now with it on the wing, guarded by Shelby. Mullis comes back and gets it. Now drives inside, kicks it back out. Kelly now goes up top, Cunningham for a three in the lead. It's no good, offensive rebound. Mullis with it, tries to put up the shot and a foul is called. It's now 21, Mullis will go to the free throw line. And I believe Meredith just fouled out. Yeah, she did. That's Meredith's uh, fifth. So, so Meredith will finish the game with 16 points as Bat checks in for the Lady Senators. Now after a little confusion right there. Now Mullis will go to the free throw line for two shots. Chance to tie the game. First one is up and good. It's 
So now Mullis a chance to tie the, tie the game up again. And this one is no good as Riley's able to get the rebound. Now gets double team Shelby now with it as they send a double at her, but she is able to kick it ahead for Lily. Lily stops. Nobody on her. She thought about the three-pointer, but instead gives it off to Riley inside. Riley turns, hands it off for Jayla, and Jayla's going to travel right oh. Yeah, travel is called. So 38-39, Senators on top with 3.57 to go. As now Kelly will bring the ball up the floor. Guarded by Shelby. Cunningham now with it. Cunningham hands it off for Labhart, who gets the screen from... Osborne, Kelly now with it, drives inside, tries to throw it inside for Mullis, ball's on the ground, and it's going to be picked up by Labhart, who throws it inside for Cunningham, can't get the shot up, as Jayla now with it, as now Jayla brings it up the floor, throws it ahead for Shelby, Shelby gets it all the way inside, and can't get the layup to fall, offensive rebound as Ava is unable to get the sh shot to go, but it will go to the free throw line for two shots. Good rebound there by Ava, just getting set and waiting for Shelby to put that one up. Now Ava at the free throw line for two shots. First one is good. Number 22, Parker, she'll check in for number two, Labhart. And 25, Smith, she'll check in for 21, Parker. As that... Free throw is no good. Still a two-point game here as Parker brings it up the sideline. Now nobody on her. Puts up a three-pointer. It's an air ball. Jayla grabs the rebound, and now she will push it ahead. Spins out of the pressure. And now Lily with it puts up a three-pointer. It is no good, but is able to get her own miss. Now tries to drive baseline. Throws it out of bounds off of Perry Central. Yeah, good, there. good play there by Lily by attacking the basket and getting her own miss. Now Riley take the ball out underneath the basket. Three minutes to go. Lady Senators lead by two. As Lily gets it, pump fakes, steps back. Now tries to drive baseline. Now gives it off for Jayla, who puts up the mid-range jumper. It's no good. Rebounded by Cunningham as now Cunningham pushes it ahead. Cunningham now stops at the free throw line, puts up the shot. It is no good. And a battle for the rebound as Shelby's able to get it. Shelby splits two defenders, now pushing it ahead quickly. Puts up the runner. It is no good. As Smith with it now kicks it ahead for Osborne. And now it's ahead for Keith, or for Kelly, who gets the layup to go. So a tie ball game here with 2.27 to go, 40-40. to And now a foul on 24, Kelly, as she kind of just got ran over right there by Lily. Nothing she could really do right there. Now Lily back to the free throw line for two shots as Perry Central has racked up a lot of fouls here in the second half. And is unable to get the first shot to go in this tie game. Yeah, and these are big free throws right here late in the fourth quarter with the tie ball game. Now Lily with her second shot, chance to regain the lead for the Lady Senators. Shot is up, it is good. Lily now at 14 on the game, two and a half minutes to go in the fourth. Parker now with it up top, guarded by Lily. Parker bounce pass off for Cunningham, throws it inside, and a foul is going to be called as now Smith will go to the free throw line for a one and one. as Jayla picks up her third foul. So Smith now for a chance to take the lead, which I still do believe will, would be the first time Perry Central has had the lead. The shot is up, it is good. Gets the lucky bounce right there. Smith now with six on the game. <clears throat> Now 
Smith. Second shot is up and it is no good as Shelby gets the rebound. As Shelby now brings up the floor guard by Kelly. Shelby spins back middle, gives it off for Lily. Lily goes to Jayla on the wing. Jayla's pass fake, gives it off to Riley. Riley now hands it off for Lily who gets into the line, puts up the runner. It is no good and it will be rebounded by the Lady Commodores and then it's knocked out of bounds by Riley Hall. Lady Senators had a chance at a layup right there. Riley was able to control that. It's now under two minutes to go, tied up at 41. As here goes Parker bringing it up the floor. And it's gonna be tipped away by Lily, but Kelly's able to get it, ball is loose, and Lily saves it there. As now Riley gets it, good hustle play there by Lily, as now Jayla has it, now throws it back to Lily. Lily now with an isolation chance, drives it inside, bounce pass off for Jayla, and can't get the layup to go, gets her own miss, ball knocked away, and there's a block, and they're gonna call a foul. That was on 25 Smith. And she's gonna foul out of the game here. So now Labhart will come in for Smith. So now Shelby at the free throw line after the foul, two shots. It is up and no good, but it was two shots as Lady Senators tried to get that offensive rebound there. So now Shelby for a chance to regain the lead here. Lady Senators really need this one. It is good. Shelby now with six points on the game. And now a foul is going to be called as now Parker will go to the free throw line for the Lady Commodores. Jalen now with four fouls as well. And with Meredith already um, fouled out of this game. Now Parker at the free throw line. First shot is up and it is good. Parker now with 10 points on the game. One more free throw for a chance at the lead. And that one is good as Emily Parker gives the Lady Commodores their first lead of the game with just over a minute to go in this fourth quarter as now Lily brings it up the floor, puts up the runner and gets it to go as the Lady Senators take the lead right back. And now Parker pushes it ahead quickly. As now Labhart gets it taken away by Lily. Lily's now bringing it up the sideline. And now we'll slow it up under a minute to go now. Lily with the crossover, tries to go inside. And now we'll just bring it right back out. And now a foul will be called on Labhart. As now Lily will go to the free throw line for a chance to extend the lead. So Lily at the line, 16 points on the game. And is unable to get that first shot to fall. Number 21, Mola, she'll come in for number two, Labhart, for the Lady Commodores. Now Lily back at the free throw line. 50 seconds to go in this fourth quarter. Lady Senators lead by one. Shot is up and it is good. Lily now with 17. As Parker now with it. Gets a screen from Cunningham. Ball will be knocked out of bounds by Lily. We'll stay Lady Commodore's ball. 44 seconds to go now. Lady Commodore's down by two. It's now Parker to take it out. Gets it in for Cunningham right on the three point line. Cunningham now turns, puts up a three for the lead. Can't get it to go. Battle for the rebound, knocked out of bounds, will be Lady Senator's ball. And 
Now a timeout will be called for the Lady Senators. Full second timeout, so we'll go to a uh, commercial break here on WWSR. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154. And we are back here at West Washington Junior Senior High School where the Lady Senators have a two-point lead over the Lady Commodores, 45-43. to We have 37 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. So it will be Lady Senators ball coming out of the timeout. We're probably going to see Perry Central try to get a trap right here and then go for the steal. And if they can't get that, then they'll have to foul and send the Lady Senators back to the free throw line. So now Jayla will take the ball out of bounds. Four cross set for the Lady Senators. Jayla throws it in for Lily. Now Lily will try to push it ahead quickly. Gets it up. Layup is good. And it will be an and one. And Lewis down on the court. As now Lily makes her way to the free throw line. It's now a four point lead for the Lady Senators. Now a 30-second timeout will be called by the Lady Senators as they now have a four-point lead with 32 seconds to go. So after these free throws, um, Lady Commodores are going to have to go fast if Lil is able to convert this free throw, make, making it a five-point game. Yeah, a big bucket there by Lily, getting down the floor. Most teams would hold the ball, but she saw a clear lane and took it and got the and one. Now Lily will make her way to the free throw line with one shot. That foul was on 23 Osborne. It's, just, it's her third foul as the Lady Commodore still in a lot of foul trouble here. I've not been getting as many calls as the Lady Senators have. That free throw is no good as Osborne's able to get it. And now a foul, a blocking foul will be called on Lily. It's Lily's second foul. Now Osborne going to the free throw line. Both teams in the double bonus here, so she will get two shots down by four. That shot goes in and out. And Emma Schmidt will come in for Louis Thompson as Louis kind of shaking up. Now the second shot is up and it is good, making it a three point game. As now Riley with it, looking for somewhere to go, gives it off to Jayla. As Jayla now gets fouled, and Jayla will go to the free throw line for two shots. So now Jayla at the free throw line. Two shots up by three. Shot is good. Jayla now with two points on the game.
Big spot here for the freshman to be in, but uh, Jayla kind of knocks off the pressure and hits that first one. Second one is no good. Rebounded by Cunningham. Under 20 seconds to go. They need a basket and quick as Emma jumps the passing line. Gets it, kicks it ahead for Ava. Ava now stops. Looking for somewhere to go and she will be fouled. As now the Lady Senators go back to the free throw line. Under 10 seconds to play. Big play there by Emma Schmidt. Kind of coming out of nowhere and just jumping in the middle of that passing line. And like you said, stealing the ball. Ava's unable to get the first shot to fall. Still a four-point game, two possessions. As Lady Senators back off here now. Ava's second shot. It's up and it is no good. As now Lady Commodores need to go here, need to put up a shot quickly. Parker with it, gives it off for Kelly. It's gonna be out of bounds and will be a turnover with 2.8 seconds as the Lady Senators will be able to pull this game out. Now Riley to take it out, under three seconds to go. And that will end the game as the Lady Senators come out on top, 48 to 44. And for the Lady Senators, two players really stood out this game. Lily Thompson had 19 coming off the bench and Meredith Deaton who had a shortened night fouling out, still finished with 16 points for the Lady Commodores. Uh, we saw a um, bunch of different scores here. Uh, Parker with 11 points, Osborne with 11 points, and also Cunningham with 11 points. And then Smith also chipped in six points in the shortened night after she fouled out there in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I will give the Commodore a little bit of... Uh, I can't think of a little bit of credit here. Credit, yeah, yeah. Uh, they from were coming from back. behind, down 17 to three, and uh, you know they fought back and called back, but the Lady Senators pulled away with it here in the fourth quarter. And with that being said, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us on WWSR and West Washington live stream, as it was a fun game tonight. As the Lady Senators do come out on top, 48 to 44. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, and we will see you next time.